Hi folks, Carl Bruning here, your Vice President of BI&I. The last video I shared in the Five Pillars series highlighted the CHAMP pillar. Today, I want to talk about the Chugach Enterprise Management System, SEMS. You'll hear a little bit about the history, the direction we're going, and some of the key members of our team that are going to take us there. The Chugach Enterprise Management System, or SEMS, is Chugach Government Solutions' proprietary configuration of IBM's Maximo, a comprehensive system for managing maintenance activities, inventory, and procurement. It's the IT software system built to digitize and automate many of the core processes outlined in CHAMP. SEMS was purpose-built to unify and automate CGS work management, material management, and material procurement processes, and to provide a standard data taxonomy structure for these processes. Initially piloted at Naval Air Station Fallon, SEMS underwent several refinements before being ready for wider deployment. The COVID-19 pandemic posed significant challenges, slowing down implementation. However, we've witnessed remarkable growth post-pandemic. Today, SEMS is operational at 10 project sites and has been recognized with several industry awards. As we move forward, our focus is on continuous deployment and enhancement of SEMS. IBM's shift to the new MASS 8 version is a major upcoming change. This new version brings additional features and capabilities. Our plan is to transition to MASS 8 in 2024 and deploy it in 2025. SEMS is set for deployment in all new project awards, with the scope tailored to contractual requirements and customer needs. This strategic commitment to SEMS is a key component in modernizing our core business systems and supporting our growth. For SEMS users, the transition to MASS 8 will bring changes to the interface and features, but the core functions will remain familiar. The transition is crucial to stay up to date with security and compliance, as IBM will phase out support for the current version by 2025. The SEMS Working Group is at the forefront of these efforts, ensuring a smooth transition and effective operation of SEMS across all sites. Let's meet a few of the team. Hey Carl, this is David. How are you doing today? Doing good. Carl, I'm the product manager for SEMS for Chugash, and in this role, I am responsible for overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of it, making sure that the product manager and the project managers are in sync with each other. We also do uh, long range and short range road mapping technology, you know, both strategic and uh, tactical direction in coordination with uh, the leadership. So SIMS is very different from CMMS products that I've worked with in the past because we have taken the Chugash methods and standards and incorporated them into Maximo. That's the underlying technology for our CMMS. By doing that, we have both provided the customers with the ability to see what they need to see and the users to do what they need to do in a more efficient and effective manner. By incorporating our processes into Maximo and developing SIMS, we have been able to provide insights for the customer, their ability to see additional details, more timely information, and more accurate information above all. Since we've rolled out SIMS in 2020, we have slowly been moving it through our enterprise, uh, uh, getting the users to shift and adjust to more standardized ways of doing things and our customer being used to Chugash presenting things in a much more standard uh, method. Our next growth direction for that is not only in improving those processes, making them tighter, uh, but also leveraging the technology to make it less redundant on the users while providing even more insight into the data. Well, the more data we collect, as we mature our product, the better insight we can give not only the decision makers within Chugash, but also our customers added value, added benefits that come as a natural evolution of the system maturing. So we we plan in the over the next few years to increase the automation in the system and to increase the depth of the data in the system. 
so we can provide better deci the decision makers better de better data to make those decisions with. We have a big year planned for SIMS in 2024 as far as the roadmap is concerned. We are going to leverage the later the latest technology which is a completely different underlying architecture for Maximo uh, and we will be rolling that out throughout the year uh, 2024 so that we can stay on the cutting edge with our with our technology and with our processes. The newest version or the latest technology for Maximo is called MASS and we'll be on MASS version 8.11 by the time we go live. So it used to be called Maximo, now it's called MASS, which is uh, manage, Maximo Manage, where they're uh, breaking the system down into components where we can manage different parts of the system predictive uh, nature of it, the uh, preventative nature of it, the the uh, data analytics through through IBM's IoT Watson technology. So we have uh, uh, working with us with SIMS, a, a kind of a dynamic group uh, with the immediate product support is uh, is the product team itself. Uh, my, uh, Corey and Miles and myself, those are the immediate uh, support team. We have uh, product project managers, we have a, a great group uh, of peers. They're called, uh, we have them collectively as the SIMS working group. And what we do as the SIMS working group, I think is a game changer for us because it gives us the ability to leverage the resources and the knowledge across the Chugash landscape in order to make SIMS a better product. So we're not developing SIMS in a vacuum and, and telling our users or customers here it is, use it. What we do is we, we bring ideas to the table, we discuss them, we vet them, and then we include them in the roadmap as we move forward. Hey, Tracy, uh, thanks for uh, connecting with us today to talk about SEMS. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Thanks for the invite too. All right, so uh, a couple of things I wanted to ask you. Uh, what do you think is the best part about working with the SEMS team? I like working with the SEMS team because of people. The expertise the SMEs bring from their respective fields to the team is priceless. What are some of the challenges you've faced and how are you able to uh, use the team to overcome them? Well, before taking the SIMS implementation project manager role, some of the challenges were that the teams were siloed. Bringing them all to the one table led to a mutual understanding that we were all interconnected. What do you like best about SIMS? I like the ability for each department to have transparency. Before, if you had to see if a procurement process was completed, you had to pick up the phone, track down the people, and see if it was done. Now with SIMS, you're able to look into the, into the system and see where your action is in the process, whether it's in work management, in procurement, or has been received. One step process. What I like best about how the SIMS teams are organized is that we took the best of each area and also those willing to try something new, meaning SIMS and Maximo and this idea that we had to incorporate CHAMP to make a flawless system that has helped the sites tremendously in productivity and efficiency. One of our biggest challenges that we had was buy-in from the sites. When we first started this endeavor, they did not believe it would work. And we did, it took a lot of uh, time and showing them how it, SIMS could Im impact their day-to-day -day functions. How we got buy-in by the sites was showing them how SIMS could improve their day-to-day -day functions. Once they saw how it could not only reduce cost, product, improve productivity, and overall transparency, the buy-in from the sites came very easily to the management at the sites. Our feedback from our customers has been very positive. It has cut down on their time that they have to spend inputting a paper process. It has cut down on time that they have to track down people to see where their particular order or if something has been received in the process. They can now just look into SIMS and they have, they've empowered themselves in order to be able to find out what they, what they need on, for their jobs. The best way we prepare the sites for implementations is we start with meetings, introductions of the people who they're going to be working with, the SME teams, as well as we've created startup kits that are 
broken down into like a college syllabus of weekly deliverables so that they are, can anticipate what is coming down the road right up to go live. We have found that in doing this, it has taken a lot of the anxiety off the sites. They're able to talk and plan with their people, especially when it comes to times of vacations and holidays, that they know this is what they need to get done and that we will we'll, we'll be able to make it in time if we make, meet these marks. Thanks for connecting with me on this important BINI pillar. I look forward to working with you all to elevate our methods of operating and serving our customers.